Man United have just beaten Aston Villa by three goals to one. And um, again, it's just a typical Man United away performance in the Premier League in the 2020-21 season. Uh, there's no surprises. Um, as soon as United go a goal down, and they always do in that kit, don't they? They go a goal down and score three. With One of them is guaranteed to be scored by Edison Cavani off the bench. Um, as, as soon as uh, United got the penalty for Bruno Fernandes as equaliser, you knew what was coming. Uh, but the, in the first half, Villa played quite well and scored an absolutely terrific goal uh, through um, Bertrand Traore, uh, who, funnily enough, I think they said for the game uh, that he is the something like that. There was he's one of the only players to play in the Premier League who was who played against United in the Europa League final four years ago now, wouldn't it? 2017. Uh, and it, it was an absolute screamer. Uh, just lasered it from the opposite side of the box into the top right corner. And other than that, the first half was a little bit uh, meh. Like, not a lot really happened. Uh, but in the second half, Bruno Fernandes did what he does, uh, score a penalty. And it was an absolutely stupid tackle by Douglas Luiz to give away the penalty. Paul Pogba's going absolutely nowhere and he's just put his foot in. And Paul Pogba's been smart and he's put his leg out to block Douglas Luiz's uh, leg trying to tap, get the ball. And it's ended up with Douglas Luiz kicking the back of Pogba's leg. Um, and so Luiz has costed Villa today, you could say. And uh, the second goal coming a few minutes later from Mason Greenwood, really good finish. He caught Emiliano Martinez out, uh, going to the not uh, going to the bottom near corner rather than the far corner. Um, it, it was a really good strike, and he is now, I believe, the uh, he has the record. For the most goals from a teenager for Man United, uh, which I mean, fair play, that's a really good record considering uh, some of the players that Man United have had as teenagers in the Premier League Wayne Rooney, Marcus Rashford, um, who else? Ronaldo was a teenager for a little while, I think, 2004. So, yeah, he would have been. Um, and there, there is many others. Uh, I think Danny Welbeck even had a, a spell where he was a teenager playing for Man United regularly. Uh, so yeah, it is a, it is an impressive record for him. And I think he potentially has a higher ceiling than Marcus Rashford. And I know that's a bit, like sounds a bit stupid, but I see more natural ability in Mason Greenwoods than I do in Marcus Rashford. Don't get me wrong, Marcus Rashford is also a brilliant player. Um, but I, I just think Mason Greenwood has the ability to um, play for any, like any team in Europe. Whereas Marcus Rashford, I see him as more of a good player. Premier League player, sort of, who, yeah, deserves to be playing for a uh, top club like Man United. Um, but I, I definitely think that Greenwood has a higher ceiling. Um, and then, obviously, Ed Edison Cavani uh, got a late third goal off the bench. And he's now scored more goals off the bench for Man United in the Premier League than he has whilst uh, being in the starting eleven, which, I mean, is incredible. Um, he's one of those players who I think is uh, really effective uh, off the bench as well as starting. Uh, there's other players like uh, Javier Hernandez was really good at that. I remember Ryan Babel at Liverpool. Um, who else? Uh, Diego Jota even for Liverpool this season has been really effective when he's come off the bench at times. Uh, so, yeah, he is one of those players who, if, if you're needing a goal, 10 minutes to go, chuck him on and 
you've got you've always got a chance, haven't you? He only needs one chance. And uh, United, if they're smart, they'll try and keep him uh, for another season. I think he that there are very few strikers these days um, who can go into their thirties and still be the same level that they were nearly. Like Luis Suarez isn't the same player. He is at age what is he now thirty four. That as he was when he was at Liverpool in 2014, age 27. Uh, same with uh, pick someone, Sergio Aguero. He's not exactly. He's still not the same player he was uh, five or six years ago as he is now. Uh, but that, to be fair, that could be down to lack of game time over the past few seasons. Um, but yeah. Uh, Villa didn't really respond well to conceding the two goals. Ollie Watkins got sent off late on um, for diving and he got a second yellow, and rightfully so. Uh, Dean Henderson got his leg out of the way just in time and Ollie Watkins was already got going down before there was any contact, so the ref made a good decision there. Um, so, so he's got a one game ban for Villa not that it really means anything as Villa are mid table and I don't think there's any chance they're getting Europa League and there's no chance they're getting relegated so uh, there's not really much to play for for Villa whereas for United I mean there's a very very slim chance they can still win the league uh, we're talking Man City have to lose the, their remaining games and they've got three I think and United have to win their remaining three or four. Um, so, I mean, you're looking at maybe 100 to 1 for that to happen. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.